and welcome back to Art with Ms. Trope. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. And what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be learning how to draw a bee. And we're going to do it actually in two different ways. We're going to do it in a more advanced way, a more complicated, more realistic bee. We're also going to do a little caricature of a bee as well. So that's going to be a little bit easier, very simple shapes. So we're going to start off with the easy bee, and then we're going to go to the more advanced bee. So I completely understand you can fast forward to the e, uh, to more advanced B if you're older or you've been practicing a lot or stick around and do both with me. So all you need today is a piece of paper and a pencil. I recommend doing it in a pencil, but if you don't have a pencil, a pen, marker, anything will do. You'll just have to practice a little bit more. And obviously I'm okay with that because the only way you get better at art is by practicing. So let's grab our materials and go get started. So we're going to start with our easy cute B. And we're going to start by drawing a circle. And if you're drawing with a pencil, we can draw a light. And we can draw it actually multiple times. So I went around until I found my happy, perfect circle. Now, after that, we're going to draw our wing. And it's going to go up kind of like a petal. And it's going to come back down. And then we're going to draw our next wing, but it's behind it, so we don't see the full thing. And it's down a little bit lower because it's further away. And it's kind of like an upside down L. And now we're going to draw the body. And the body is going to be like the shape of an almond or an eye. And we can't forget about the stinger. So it's going to come from the middle of the wing, middle of the head. And it's going to come to a little point because that's this little stinger. And now we can draw the stripes. And we're gonna draw two stripes and we're gonna curve them because the bee is round and this can get shaded in. And you could shade it in later with crayon or marker or you could just go ahead and do it with your pencil. And the last thing we're going to do is the face. So we're going to draw two little antennas coming up with little round circles at the top. So that's a line and a line and two circles. Then we're going to draw two eyes, just little circles, and a little nose with little mouth and we're just going to do like the number three for the mouth. We can give some little eyelashes. We can color the eyes in and we can do that dotted line to show the bee was moving and buzzing around. If you have some colors we can go ahead and color it in. Bees are yellow and black. So I'm going to color in the face yellow. I'm just going right over the eyes. And I can go back once I color it and give it an outline with a black marker or a black pen. And I'm going to go ahead and do black little outline for the eyes. And for the shape. And there we go, our cute little bee is done. The next bee we're gonna do is advanced. So if you've already done 
the cute one, let's move on to the advanced one, or if you skipped ahead, that is fine. So I'm going to draw a very light line and a cross. This is going to help me keep my proportions. It doesn't have to be perfect. If you're filling up a whole page, you could do your whole page this way, but I'm going to be doing my B right here next to the cute B. So that's just going to help me keep my proportions. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to draw an oval and we want half on each side. Remember, I draw light and I draw over it and sketchy until I get it right. So I have about half on each side and then I'm going to draw two ovals the same width, so from here to here, and it's going to overlap. Now, I want you to do the whole thing in pencil before you go back and make your corrections, but I'll show you what this will look like because we will go erase our lines. So I'm drawing my oval, my other oval, and then it's going to be connected with the arch and the other arch. So we're not going to have those other lines showing. So we will erase them later. I'm just showing you what it will look like once we go back with a pen or a marker. So now we're going to go and we're going to do a kind of, it's like a rectangle, but it's curved. It's going to have a little curve right below the bottom of this cross. And it's going to curve here, but straight lines. So curve, then straight. This is the middle section of the B. This is the head. This is the middle, and then we're going to draw the back end. And this is kind of going to be like a light bulb shape. So it's going to come out curved and then start to curve back. And we want that to be the same on both sides. Take your time, draw lightly. We will go back and erase everything. So I'm not going to do that pen mark that I did before. I was just showing you what our next step will be. So now we're going to come have our wing come out about halfway on this section. And I'm just going to make my mark on both sides to make sure I'm doing it the same. And it's going to come out in a straight line. And then it's going to curve down. Come at an angle. We're going to dip below this line just for a moment and we're going to come back up. So you see how it connects. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. So we want to make sure we're dipping down the same amount. You can even draw yourself another dotted line to show this is where it should come down to. And it makes like a 90 degree angle and it goes up. Same thing up here if you want to make yourself a little dotted line goes up, curves over, and goes down. Now you can give yourself a second look at them. This one curves. More like that. And now we're going to go ahead and do our legs. So legs, the, there's going to be two down here. And there's going to be one up here. So this first one comes right about a quarter of an inch down, comes up to close to the wing, curves down, and then curves again. Then our next one, we have a little bit of space, and it follows that same kind of shape. The feet, that's where it rests on the flowers. And now we're going to do the same on the other side to so make sure you're doing the same location. Same length. And this is why we're doing it light and pencil. This one comes down too far. It's 
same with this one. And now let's go ahead and move on. I'm not even going to bother erasing. I'll do that at the end all at one time. We're going to have our antennas coming out. Just little ovals or little cylinders. And then we have our front legs coming out. Two straight lines out. Then they go up. And then they go over. So let's do the same thing over there. They go out. Then they go up, and then they go over. There we go. So now we can go ahead with our marker or our pen, and we can go over these outlines. Take your time. You could always make your line thicker if you need it to look a little bit more identical, or whatever your style is. If your style's a little bit quick, that's fine. Embrace what your style is. But remember, it does take practice. We don't want to give up the first time we try. So take your time. The next thing you can do is erase your lines. Now you don't have to be careful, but I do spread my hand out on my paper so I don't accidentally wrinkle it or tear it. So we could just go ahead and erase. And the last thing I almost forgot is we need to add our stripes in. And we're gonna do arch across the body to show that it's round. And that section will be black. And we can also do some lines on the wing. And I'm just doing this in my pen because it doesn't need to be identical so we're just doing kind of like a tree branch we can see the structure of the wing now we're almost done just adding some of that structure so now we can go ahead and color it in. And there are two types of bee, our cute little animated bee or our little bit more realistic bee. I hope you had fun making the bee. Maybe you stuck around and did both ways. Maybe you fast forwarded and went to the advanced version of the bee. But either way, I'd love to see how they turned out. So always take a picture, drop a comment on any social media platform. I'd love to see it. And let me know in the comments, what did you like? What would you like to see in the future? Do you enjoy the drawing tutorials? Let me know what you'd like to see. Please hit that like button so I know if you enjoyed it. And remember, subscribe so you always get notified on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays when a new video comes out. Bye!